All right, Josh here, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon VGC 2019 Bats Bot Live series. Today is going to be the last time we use the Eveltal Kyogre team. Uh, Monday we will swap to something completely different, and yeah, it's been it's been better than the last team. I've got to say we have done a bit better. We're climbing back up to the high 1600s, so that's kind of nice. Um, and now I'll probably lose all three saying that. I should never say things like that. Um, but yeah, it's not it's not been as bad. As I thought. Like, obviously, like I've said, there are some issues. Like opposing Kyogres are definitely problematic, but not unbeatable. Um, but I do really like the control thing with Mega Gengar. Mega Gengar is very, very good. We do find it a really high rate, about 1859. Je Jesus, that's that's pretty high. Running what we don't like to see, but um, you know. Let's just play around it. Um, Landris is good here, Gengar's good here, Eveltal's good here, and who else do I want? I don't want Stack, I want... Who do I want? Eveltal? Eveltal, Gengar? I don't want Smeagol. Smeagol's not bad. Um, Gengar, Eveltal? Something like that. Gengar, Eveltal. Gengar, Eveltal doesn't seem too bad, actually. With Landris and Kyogre in the back. So, worst case scenario here, Trick Room. I don't think you bring Trick Room, though. I think you might bring a Moongus. My opponent knows exactly what to do. Let's just go for it. I fully expect to lose this, but um, it's fine. Be a nice chunk of points if we do if we do pick this one up. 1859, that must be like, they must be in the top. I mean, they must be in the top 20 of, at least, surely higher even. Top 10, maybe? I don't know, but certainly high. Incineroar or Moongus, okay, that's not great, but it, it, is, it is what it is. <laughs> Uh, we can protect Eveltal. Uh, we can protect. We can sub with Gengar, is what I meant to say. I can say words! Um, Incineroar. Yeah, that's kind of a. That's a good lead. Good deal. Like, you might just fake out Eveltal's spore. I'm gonna sub. I'm just gonna Oblivion Wing. Like, I need to take care of this Amoongus, like, ASAP. 100%. ASAP. 100% ASAP near. If I can maybe... I don't want to switch Kyogre into an Amoongus, obviously. Like, they might fake out Eveltal and spore Eveltal, that would be super bad. And then I'd just have to try and play the wake-up game. Which isn't too bad, because like... Amoongus can't really do a lot to Eveltal, really. And Incineroar can maybe... No spores, okay. I mean, I don't mind this too much. I mean, you might still fake out the gold wall. You might just go straight for the Z move. I'm gonna sneeze. I'm gonna go sneeze. I think I've held the sneeze. Did I hold the sneeze? It's like there, I don't know. <laughs> it's like, am I gonna sneeze? Okay, uh, probably just see fake out into the then. Or the Z move straight into Gengar, but I did sub, so. I mean, I'll probably take less damage from the sub. Um, if it does see me about taking less damage, we're, actually it could snarl. Ah, that would be a good play. No fake out. So if there's a snarl, that's the worst case scenario. Actually, if they snarl, that's why the. That's actually a really good play if they snarl. Probably just dark lives. Okay, okay, but then, then we're not too bad. I have got the Kyogre trapped in now, which is quite nice because I can snarl it to death. You know it'd be nice on this Eveltal, U-turn. Okay, right. Let's protect Gengar this time. Because it's got Darkest Light, I'm guessing it's the... I'm going to Snarl. Okay, Gengar protects. Yep. Kind of have to. Kyogre protects. Um, that's fine. Makes sense. I Snarl. And Incineroar goes for... The Z move. Or snarl. The Z move. Okay, well, that's going into the protect. Um, I can't, obviously, I kind of have to switch out of um, Gengar next turn, which is not really ideal. Um, but, you know, it is what it is. Okay, okay. Into. Into my Veltor. Well, I can't say I was expecting that, but that did a lot of damage for... And I'm actually quite surprised it did that much damage. 
that's that's not ideal. Um, you don't need Gengar for. Kind of want icy wind. I could sub again. No, but if you double, yeah, no, you then use attack. Um, I'm gonna go into into Kyogre. Um, annoyingly, I feel like I'm kind of forced to Oblivion Wing. I want to snarl, but I'm kind of forced to Oblivion Wing because otherwise I'm gonna lose Eveltal. Eveltal, it might it might even go down to a water spout. I don't know. Let's see. My Kyogre comes in, which is quite nice because I get to force their Kyogre out. Um, but they can, you know, I suppose they can switch it to a move, but that'll be a safe route. I'm faster than their Kyogre, that's nice to know. Because it's Z. Yeah, I get a nice drunk of back because it's Z. That's what I want to see. It's Z, that's what I want to see. What's about Origin Pulse? Oh, we can't. Oh, yeah, let's go, Kyogre. Ouch! That's into Kyogre. That did a lot. Ow. Um, so yeah, Thunder. I could Snarl and... Ice Beam in Sinora, I reckon he goes into a Moongus. I do. Should we go for the read? I hope you might not do. Mm. No, I'm going to Snarl. I'm going to do that and... I don't want to leave the Kyogre alone though. We'll Snarl. I need to get some health back though. Do they go into a Moongus with one slot? That's what I'm thinking. Okay, well, I mean, we get rid of the Incineroar, that's kind of nice. comes in now though? Rayquaza? That's what I'm scared, I'm scared of. I'm super scared of Rayquaza. I'm super scared of Rayquaza. Rayquaza? Um, yeah, I'm scared of that thing. <clears throat> yep, you're bringing Rayquaza. I mean... You can just drag an ascent. I can Dragon Scent and like Ice Beam or something. But I am faster than your Kyogre, so you don't want to take. You don't want to take a Snarl, really. <sighs> this might be a throw, but I'm going to go into Landorus and, and Snarl. I don't want to Ice Beam. Actually, yeah. Okay. I might lose both here, but I'm going to go for it. Because if I get Gengar and Rayquaza in at the same time, uh, Gengar and, and Landorus in at the same time, I think I can win. Yep. Out. Into. Leave Eltol. Into Kyogre. We didn't Mega Evolve. Interesting choice. He's going to Ice Beam now. It's a Life Orb. That does an absolute tune to Rayquaza, doesn't it? Okay, live. Okay. Ow. Ow. We live. Okay. Got the play. Guys, I've got the play. You ready? You ready for the play? The play of time! Okay. <laughs> I hope, I hope I don't read this wrong. I think you're, oh no, you don't need to extreme speed though. You could extreme speed. I want Eveltal, no, I, I, I'm gonna go into Gengar. Wait, let me just make sure I do all this right. We're gonna Z Kyogre. Right, and swap into Gengar. That's what we're gonna do. 
I mean, I hope to god that my opponent... I don't know, does something silly. Like, doesn't protect the Kyogre. Extreme speeds that... I mean, that's not great. But it's not the end of the world either. I mean, I'm going to get a good chunk on Amoongus. It's not going to KO it, but it's going to do a lot. Yep. Mega Raid comes out! I mean, if I can KO the Amoongus... Potentially still win this. I kind of wish I Rock Slip now. So maybe Ice Moon will pick it up. I think you go through Veltal, though, like... Oh no, this is going to Gengar. Oh god. Bye. Can I live it? No. Uh, I thought you might just extreme. No. I suppose you didn't have a need to. Okay, I misread that as well. Bloody hell. Oh, why did I do that? You had no reason to extreme speed. Okay, I just threw it. I just threw the game. I mean, actually, no, no, we haven't, we haven't thrown the game yet. I really wish I had flipping, um, uh, protect or sucker punch on my, it's focus action wingers. Nope, it can just live that. That's E, that's EV efficiency. Okay, um, I mean, if Elton dies, this, this is the issue, like, I don't have protect, I need protect. Protect is the best move ever. Everybody run Protect. Yeah, I lose now, sadly. Unless I can... Amoongus has Protect. Interesting. I mean, it makes sense. He had to stop the Sucker Punch. Smart. Just a minute, guys. Actually, that actually there is a way out of this. <laughs> I've just seen it. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna try. We have to. Okay, okay. What we have to do? We have to go for the rock slide flinch, and then maybe Earth single target earthquake can do it. I have to get a flinch though. I actually have to get a flinch. Okay, one rock slide, and then a single target earthquake. Can I do it? This was a long game. I have to go for the rock slide. I have to. I have to get one flinch. This earthquake's not going to take out Kyogre, so this this is what I have to go for. It's the only way I win. We'll see how much rock slide does, and then we'll kind of judge if earthquake's going to be enough, or we need two. Okay. I think oh, I don't know. It's close. Come on, come on. Flinch, flinch. Ah, lovely. Yes, I think Lazarus isn't going to live that. Yeah, well played. I mean, yeah. Not much else to say about that, really. I, I definitely kind of messed up by leaving Evelt, like, sacking off Gengar. I, I literally... I thought they might have extreme speeded because of Sucker Punch. But they didn't. And I wanted to see extreme speed go into... Um, go into Gengar. I thought it would have been quite funny, but obviously my opponent kind of saw that coming. Anyway, we can't be too sad about that. I mean, they had a super high rate, and I'd expect them to... Probably beat me at that, at that point, but um, yeah. I mean, it was fairly safe point for for Dragon Scent. Maybe I don't think a Sucker Punch would have. Although to be fair, like if if I'd gone for Sucker Punch that turn and, and KO'd my opponent's Rayquaza, then if it KO'd, it could have done, and um, they would have been in a little bit of trouble actually. So I guess it was a. I don't want to say it's a fifty-fifty, but it was cool. JK, nah, I'm on JK. Groudon Lunala and uh, the Salamence, that's just something we see particularly often anymore. Eveltal's going to be super clutch here. Eveltal's amazing here, actually, if anything. Um, Smeagol's great as well to redirect anything from that Tapu Koko. Landris is also great. Um, I feel like I could probably go like Eveltal or Smeagol, to be honest. Um, do I want Gengar? Do I want Gengar? Hmm. I don't actually know. I definitely want Kyogre. Do I want Kyogre? I want Landorus. Do I want Gengar? I mean, I don't have Shadow Ball. No, I'm not going to bring Gengar. I'm going to bring Kyogre. And just play... I mean, my opponent's got Tailwind and Trick Room. I mean, if, if they set up either, I can kind of stall it out, I guess. Like, I don't think you've got Trick Room mode here. Like, Stack Attack is not particularly great against my team. 
you definitely bring Coco, you definitely bring Groudon, you probably bring Lunala, and you bring the Mega Salamers. I can see a Coco lead. That's why I brought Smeagol, just to redirect any electro type attacks. Coco Salamence would be quite a good lead, but I could Snarl, then bring in Landorus, which would be really good against both. That's actually Lunala Coco. I mean, I don't really mind this too much. Ah, uh, Lunala's gonna have wide guard, isn't it? I can fake out Coco and... Mm -hmm. Dark Pulse. <clears throat> In fact, that's what I'm gonna do. Uh, we'll fake out Coco. Dark Pulse you. Just break the Shadow Shield. I can see Lunala going for wide guard, that's all. I can see going for wide guard, expecting a Snarl. And if he goes for wide guard, I'll probably go snarl the next turn. Maybe. Okay, no protects. Oh, wide guards. That's kind of running because he got snarl off. Are going for trick room? Good lord, that did a lot of damage. Did just go for trick room? I mean, that's kind of fine by me because my loot, my is super slow. I guess they were expecting tailwind, um, which make which would. Is kind of fine because like Eveltal, Tailwind Eveltal is like super common. Um, but not this one! Not this one. I'm gonna snarl and just follow me, I guess. Not my Eveltal, my friends. Not my Eveltal. I mean, this trick room's kind of fine by me. Like, absolutely fine. Okay, anything, whatever, whatever they're doing, like, is going to. Go for the Psy Shock, yep. Just gonna get rid of Smeagol, that's fine. I mean, it's kind of nice if Smeagol goes down, to be honest, because then I get free switch into Kyogre. Bolt switch. Wild charge. Ooh. Physical. I mean, that makes it a little bit more difficult for my. I, mean, I do have Intimidate. Do I bring Kyogre? Depends who's like slower, doesn't it? I could bring in Kyogre, and then just, um, just swap in Landorus. Are like you bringing Groudon here? Yeah. Let's see whose weather goes up. What is this wire? There's like a wire in my drop. I have no idea what it is. Oh yes, that means my weather's going up. Boy. Yeah, boy! I think that's just the game at this point, to be honest. Yeah. That's that's fantastic for us. Oh no, wait, yeah. So let's wait. So we might wait in trick room. Are the speeds of the weather's reversed as well? So like, <laughs> I'm confusing myself. Um, I have a super safe switch into uh, Landris here, and like I could I can warp spout because Presbyter's Blades is just... even if I warp spout is fine. But if I jump into Landris and just water spout, it should, it, honestly it should be fine. Like if you're Groudon you want to switch out. So whatever's coming in has to take a water spout. Yeah, that's fine. If Coco's going down. It's, it's Salamence. That's honestly absolutely fine. If Eltal's just great at this point. I think my opponent, I, I, I understand why my opponent's up Trick Room. Like, it makes sense because you, you were expecting it to be Tailwind of Eltal. But I'm not Tailwind of Eltal. I'm AV! I, I, sometimes I wish I was Tailwind of Eltal, but, you know. Coco just protects us, that's fair. Fair play. But the thing is now, I can... I can like, it's, it's absolutely fine. Look at that damage, guys. I mean, I can Z the Coco slot. There's literally no reason not to. Um, like, if Groudon Grout, comes in, that's fine. And just Ice Beam. I think we're absolutely fine here. I mean, Groudon switches in for something, but if he switches in for Coco, it has to take a Z move. If he switches in for Salmon's, Coco still goes down. And, you know, you take a decent chunk of damage in the meantime. Um, all I need to do is literally switch Kyogre out to win this. Uh, Landorus just does a, just does so good as well in the, in, against the rest of the stuff. Like, Intimidate Groudon. Coco can't really touch it, especially because it's physical. Like, it might be mixed. It, it could have Dazzling Gleam. Um, 
Obviously, the Zemu is a bit overkill as well, but I just want to get rid of the Salamence and the Coco. And if Groudon comes in for the Coco, Groudon takes a ton of damage, so it's just kind of safe. I'm intimidated still, but it's fine. Okay, Mega Salamence comes out. Probably see Protect from that. I would imagine. You might just let Coco go down. <coughs> nope, this is just going to be a double KO. Okay, then that's the game. I think that was a pretty safe play for me, to be honest. Like, I know both my Pokemon are slower, so... <laughs> there's, there's no reason for me not to. I guess in a best of three, my opponent would not set up a uh, set up trick room against me. Which will be... which, yeah, that was obviously the, the big one for me. Oh, trick room playing handy for me, yeah, massively. That's a dead Coco, and I literally just need to... I can switch... Um, Kyogre out for a Veltal, Earthquake, and then it's just the literally just game. There's not really much my opponent can do now. Kyogre looks so cool, so majestic. It's floating in midair. It's ace. Go out, oh! Desolate land goes, oh! The sunlight turned extremely harsh. Okay, we're just gonna EQ. And swap into Hilton. And the worst case scenario is a eruption. And I don't think that'd even KO um, if Elthol, so. I think Kyogre just wins. Kyogre wins. It's as simple as that. Unless it's. Yep, there's an eruption actually. Interesting. I mean, that's going to KO Landorus for sure. Oh, it actually doesn't KO Landorus. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go special bulk on the Landorus. I. Actually, did I EV? I know I EV to live a plus two Dazzling Gleam, but I think I did check a Eruption as well. I think it was a roll or something like that. But that, that literally seals it now, like Groudon. It's, it's just done for. Like an Earthquake and uh, Dark Pulse. Look how much Veltal took from that. That's not like max m modest Groudon. It's probably like. It could be mixed um, going off that Eruption damage, because I think max modest was guaranteed Oko on. On Landorus. I have to check. But I, I don't think that was like modest max, so. I guess that was a nice little win. Obviously, my opponent's still trick room was, <laughs> was the classic. I I get, I, but like I say, I do 100% understand why the Tailwind did. Because, that, why the trick room, obviously, expecting Tailwind from my Veltal. all. Um, trick room, oh god, I'm smashing my DS everywhere. Trick room, Lunala is quite interesting, especially because there's a stack as well. Um, I guess it could have been trick room and Tailwind. No, let's have let's have some like old music. Let's have like Gen 2. The best gen. Oh well. Gen 2 is the best gen. Not in terms of Pokemon, just in terms of games. Gold and silver just I don't know, they're just amazing. I love them. I love them. Oh, come on, find me someone. Find me someone. <sighs> yes! Soleil. Soleil, 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 Soleil. Is running a shed ninja. We don't want to see that, and it's gonna be flipping soak. I bet. Oh, is it, if it's soak, I just lose. <laughs> if it's soak, I just lose. Oh no. <laughs> oh god. Okay, if it's soak shed ninja, I literally just lose. So that's fun. Um, I could actually. No, I know what to do. What? Um. Yeah, if it's soak shed ninja, I just I literally just lose. Okay, I've got a plan. Ish. Is that gonna work? No. If it's Soak Shed Ninja, I lose, Donna. This is the last game we play for this team. I'm gonna lose to Soak Shed Ninja. Do I bring Stack? Do I bring Kyogre? Do I bring Eveltal? Who do I bring? I'll bring Kyogre and Stack, I think. Um. Yeah, if, if, if we see that Shed Ninja get soaked, then it's game over, guys, I'm afraid. I, I don't have anything for that. I genuinely, 100%, don't have anything for it. So that's not fun. <sighs> what a way to go out. I hate Soak Shed Ninja. I hate Shed Ninja. Like, it's just, it's just the most stupid ability in the history of abilities. Did I ever tell you about probably the best read I ever made? So I was on show... <laughs> I was on showdown. And I probably played about. I played. I was playing so many Shed Ninja, and this person led. Um, it was a Scarf Finny. What did the? What was it? 
Oh, wait, I'll tell you in a minute. Let me think of this turn, I'll tell you before the end, because it was really funny. Okay, we've got Salomon's Finny. That's... I mean... <sighs> too bad. I'm gonna just get rid of this Finny, that's the thing. I'm gonna Sludge Bomb Finny and Z Finny. Sludge Bomb shouldn't put it in berry range, and Earth and Z should just finish it off. I just I, I don't want it soaking. I lose to soak. 100 percent Okay, please be faster, please be faster, please be faster, please be faster. Don't be scarf. Please everything else be faster. Please. For the love of God, everything else be faster. <laughs> please, please, Landorus, be faster. Okay. Don't proc the berry. Yes! We're not going to lose to Soak. Yes! Oh, thank God. Okay. We can still beat the Shed Ninja. Let's go. <laughs> oh, God. That's so funny. Who did I bring in the back? Uh, did I bring you Veltor? I don't think I did. What we're playing at? Okay, I need Landorus to beat your ninja now. <laughs> oh god. Jesus Christ. Yeah, funniest turn ever. Okay, well, what a waste of a Z move, but at the same time, maybe not. Okay. I actually have to beat your ninja with Landorus. I should have brought the all. I don't know why I didn't. I also wish I had Shadow Ball. Cape Salmon comes back out. Yep. That icy one. Okay. H who do I have to beat this thing? Yeah, literally. Um, no one. Well, I might need to. Okay, I'm gonna icy win. I might. I might need to um, intimidate the thingy later. So I'm gonna bring in stack. Like Salmon's can't do anything to stack. If we just save Landorus and beat Shed Ninja with with um, with Landorus, we should be fine. If we focus on the, the anything but the Shed Ninja slot. Oh yeah, but there's the flipping. Oh, God, there's yucky ally switch mind games as well. I hate ally switch. I hate Shen Ninja and I hate ally switch. It makes me hate. It makes me hate Shen Ninja even more. Yeah, but jokes on you. <laughs> jokes on you, my friend. Oh yeah, great, fantastic, well done. Well done, there, Gengar. That was great. Chatrick room. Great. Good wide guard. Do you double edge? I don't know. I'm just going to protect and Good gyro ball. I wish... I, I wish... I wish to God you could... Um, wonder guard. You could... Um, uh, get rid of thingy. You know, I'm, I'm just literally saying words and they don't make sense. I wish you could skill swap Wonder Guard. Okay, I can st I can still get, get beat Shed Ninja. It's fine. We can still we can still do it. I didn't set up Trick Room. I should have done. I just went for the Gyro Ball. Maybe that was a mistake. <clears throat> okay, it's kind of fine still. Salmon goes with Double Edge. High voice. It's fine. Ow. Yeah. Jabal's gonna do an absolute ton to Solomon's. Yep. Yeah. Maybe I should trick room. Do I wide guard? Wide guard's so obvious though. I could wide guard switch into Kyogre. What's the worst case scenario then? Make sense of Tailwind or that? Two. Wide guard switching to Kyogre. That, that covers everything on Groudon. Salmon's could double edge Kyogre. That's the worst case scenario there. Then I just double protect. Let's stack it. Okay. Okay, I've got a plan. Let's bring Kyogre. Oh my god. <sighs> I, I can't. I can't lose. I can't lose um, Gengar, and I can't lose. Landris. Landris is the most important thing on this earth right now. Um, I have to rock slide Cheninja to death. And hope Shadow Claw doesn't KO and Shadow Sneak don't KO me. It is doable! 
What about when we got that finny though? That was the best. Even if I lose this game to Ninja, I'm still happy about getting the finny. Okay, please fire punch. I don't want you to double edge though, that's the worst case. Okay, okay, this is super good. Fire punch. Earth power. Okay, that's not ideal. Really. Hmm. Well, if I bring Gen uh, Gengar in, you can't switch out at least. I could just. <laughs> I could literally just double protect. We've seen its earth power, so it's probably not. Um, okay, let's just double protect. That, that literally wins us the game, right? <sighs> then we Sludge Bomb Salmon to Water Spout. Sludge Bomb should pick up Salmon. And then. And then. Landorus beats the Shed Ninja. Unless I get crit by Shadow Ball. By Shadow Claw. This is the last turn of Tailwind, right? Mm-hmm. Deals with a double edge. Smart. And press Okay, so it's mixed. Okay, so that's not ideal. But we should pick up Salamence with Sludge Bomb. The worst case scenario here is if Groudon Salamence protects. But Groudon. Oh, I know how to. Oh, uh, no, because I need to attack Salamence. Oh, I need to attack Salmons. Does Salmons protect? Or would you just double Kyogre? If Salmons did protect, and I sub. If Salmons doubles. Mm. <sighs> Definitely Scalding Groudon, 100%. But do you double edge, or do I attack? I'm a sub. I think Salmons protect. And you get rid of the Gengar. Oh, Groudon protects. Oh no. Okay, that's bad. Oh! Uh! So then you double edge. Into Gengar. Mm. I mean, the same mind game happens again now. So, who do you double edge? Uh, do I see wind? I'm gonna go for Salmons this time. I'm gonna go for Salmons this time. They'll protect Salmons this time, watch. Oh no, they don't. Okay, that's that's so good. That's good. I think we can win now. Oh my god, we, I think we've I think we've I think we've beat Shed Ninja guys. It is faster than my Kyogre. I kind of expected that my Kyogre is slow. Rip Gengar, obviously, but it did its job. If if Salmon's protected today, it would have been a bit dicey. Okay, Landorus. Can you beat Shed Ninja with Rock Slide? <laughs> I hope to God you can, because otherwise... Oh. I think we can beat this, the Shed Ninja with Landorus. <laughs> Although, let's face it, um, Rock Slide's accuracy isn't exactly perfect, is it? We do get the Intimidate on it as well, which is, which is kind of nice, to be honest. <laughs> I so wish I brought Eveltal. Why did I not bring Eveltal? Like, I'm so stupid. Although, I need to bring Landorus. I needed Kyogre. I needed... Everybody, everybody's done the job, I suppose, so... I mean, it really doesn't matter what we do to this uh, Ninja. But as long as we Rock Slide. We need to Rock Slide. And not scold our own Landorus or something stupid. Okay. <laughs> Go on, flinch it, just for good measure. We are, we are faster, which is nice. Flinch it. Flinch it. Let's focus that shock horror. Obviously that's not gonna do anything. We like that. We like that. <laughs> we don't mind flinching shit ninjas. All do we we uh, do that. That's so funny. Oh come on Landorus, what are you playing? <laughs> oh Landorus, you fool. Okay, that's into Landorus. Watch this, it crits. Crit Oko's me. Well, that's doing nothing. The important thing was, my friends, we stopped the soak. Yes, it cost me my Z move, but that's why 
Um, having less investment on Gengar so it doesn't proc the berry on Finny is amazing. Okay, well done, Landorus. Boo. See you later, Shenzhou. Ah, satisfying! That was a great way to end it. I honestly thought we were going to lose against that, but I'm super glad we had that, you know, just double the Finny plan. Put it just out of berry range and just Z-move it, just to make sure it's just gone. Like, I just had to get rid of it. I, I don't think I had another single target attack that could have done... Mate, like, I think Oblivion Wing on a Veltor was a bit risky. Um, Kyogre can't, probably. Um, stack? I mean, it's not going to outspeed the Finny. So, Stack was a, a no as well. So, yeah, I had to go for that, and it paid off. We beat that Shen Ninja. What a way to win the episode. Cheers for watching, and to finish the team as well, I suppose it beat a Shen Ninja. I'm very happy about that. Cheers for watching this episode, guys. Take it easy, and I'll see you all in a bit.